Hey, how's it going guys? So if you didn't already know, Procreate's 3.2 update allows you to import Photoshop files with ease. You no longer have to do that little weird workaround that I had to do in the past. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to access these files from a link or a Dropbox and easily be able to transfer your Photoshop creations into Procreate. But not only that, if I decide to ever share anything with you, for example, the line art from the previous tutorial, uh, I'm going to be able to do that and you're going to have access to the same exact canvas, same exact line art, and we'll be able to work together from there. So let's get right into this video and I'm going to show you how I go about doing it. Okay, so here we are in Procreate and I'm just going to quickly show you how to export stuff. Uh, this is the drawing that I want to export it, so I'm going to slide with um, one finger to the left hit the share button and here we can choose different formats uh, all the way from the procreate file to the dot photoshop file pdfs jpegs all that good stuff we're gonna choose the photoshop document just because it's pretty flexible you can you know use it on your computer in photoshop and uh, there you go so here you can actually just hit that save image button it'll save to your camera roll and you can import drawings from your camera roll that are also Photoshop document files but I'm gonna be sending it to the cloud and I have my location picked out here and that's gonna be Dropbox that's one of the apps I have installed on my um, iPad and on my computer and everywhere else and this is how I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys so you're actually gonna need Dropbox to receive my links so I'm gonna hit Dropbox I'm gonna choose personal and whatever folder I choose will be it. So now that I've got my folder chosen, I'm going to back out of this. I've already saved the file at an earlier time. It says that the export was unsuccessful because obviously I didn't send it anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and exit out to the main menu. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the messages where I've sent myself a copy of the link. This is the same exact link that you guys will see in the descriptions below the drawings that I share. So I'm going to click on it and as you can see, the preview is the picture that I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and click on the picture. It's going to load on in, and now we have our little puppy dog. And we can choose to save it as an offline thing. What you're actually going to press is, not over here, but you're going to click the three little arrows on the right. Hit export. Once export is selected. We're going to go ahead and click open in, slide the bar over. If you don't see Procreate, don't worry. Hit the more button and enable Procreate. Now we have an add to Procreate button. Once you press that, it's going to send it right over to Procreate. Once that's sent over, I'm going to double tap and go into Procreate and suddenly we see an importing artwork. And did it work? Yep, looks like it. We've got all the layers. As you can see here, I can turn the puppy on, the whisker holes, whiskers themselves. And now we have duplicates. So I can go ahead and delete this one. All right, and it's as easy as that. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description in this video, as well as the coloring portion of the tutorial will have the same exact link. So you can go ahead and experiment with importing, even if you don't plan on coloring. It's just something to try out, you know, and then in the future, maybe somewhere along the way, I will be sharing other artworks and showing you how I organize my layers and use all sorts of effects. So it could be helpful for that. If you guys have any questions or feel like I've missed something or something wasn't very clear, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll try and address that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.